I came up with this strategy, which I call the all money down technique. So at the time I had uh, the first two properties I bought, I was able to secure a uh, home equity line of credit, a HELOC, against uh, the second property that I bought, especially because it cash flowed so well. Uh, <clears throat> so what I did with that money is I... I just coined the phrase, the all money down technique. So what I was doing was I was going to the Mayfair section of Northeast Philadelphia and buying houses for cash. Back then you could buy houses in the uh, early 90s and mid 90s for about 30 grand. So I would buy messed up houses for 30 grand. I would then uh, use my home equity line of credit to fix up the houses and then to rent out the houses. <coughs> when I was finished renting them out, I would go back to a bank uh, yes, I used the banks back then. Prior to the crash of 2008, I, I, I used the banks for almost every real estate deal I did. And the HELOC was also from a bank, so I was using bank money that the bank made available to me. So I would buy the house for 30 grand, I'd put 10 grand into it, did a lot of work myself, then I would rent it out to good people who would live there, and then I would go right back to the bank, sometimes only three months after I bought it, and I would refi the entire building out again and get all of my money back. Sometimes I'd lose a couple grand, sometimes I'd make a couple grand, but I had a property. I did this between the years of, say, 1993 and 1998. I did it 22 times, 22 times in a row, all in the same neighborhood. So my pocket where I used to invest was in the Mayfair section in between Tarsdale and Frankfurt, Cotman and Ron. That was my pocket. And by the late 90s, I had owned 22 buildings in that area, all of which were rented out to tenants paying me rent. 